What's up guys and welcome back to another Minute Study Tip. Today we are talking about mathematics, but in particular, how to effectively cram for an upcoming math test. Now look, cramming is never ideal, but let's face it, it happens all the time. So here are the three keys that you need to hone into in order to cram effectively for your next math test. Firstly, almost every teacher is going to give you either a practice test or a study guide. You need to grab onto that practice test or study guide and make sure to go through it thoroughly. Now it's very important in math to recognize that you can't just look at the test and say, hey, I got that concept, I'm cool. Being adept with mathematics is like being adept in a sport. In order to get good, you have to practice. You can't just look at somebody dribbling a basketball and say, oh yeah, that makes sense, I got it. You actually have to go out and put in the time and do it. So make sure to grab that practice test or study guide and thoroughly go through each problem until you know that you have a solid understanding of every concept covered. Once you've gone through that practice test or study guide, you need to go back through old homework assignments. Now again, you're going to have a short amount of time in which to prepare if you're cramming. So strategically choose a smattering of practice problems from each homework assignment to give yourself a well-rounded perspective on everything that needs to be reviewed. Finally, if you're going through these practice problems at the last minute, chances are you're going to need some assistance to make sure that your understanding is clear. Accordingly, I have three suggestions. First and foremost, if you can get a solid math tutor that you connect with that teaches you well, I would latch onto that person and bring them over the day before the test or whenever you're cramming and see if you can work that out so that they can be there by your side as you go through all of these problems. If you can't connect with a solid tutor, then I recommend using online video tutorials. They're there is a plethora of incredible math teachers on YouTube. The onus is simply on you to find those math teachers that you resonate with and then follow their resources accordingly. Last but certainly not least, if you have either a family member or a friend who is especially good at communicating math concepts to you, make sure to lean on them appropriately. I hope this study tip was helpful. And if you wanna take your studying to the next level, make sure to check out these study tips right here. Thank you guys so much for joining and I'll see you all in the next video. Take it easy.